Just yell. <laughs> All right. Tell me your name. All right, Alan Smith, one of the uh, competitors of the uh, Better Fuel Company contest. All right, tell me about your bike. All right, this year I actually stepped back in aerodynamics and efficiency to uh, show the people that you can do a simulate streamlined bike, get the fuel economy improvement, but not as good as the full streamliner. So it's not it's not a total commitment to uh, do this. Uh, the bike's a lot of proportion because the trunk is oversized for the four bags of groceries, which we now call four bags of dirty laundry. And um, so the gearing is lower, and it's a little easy, it's actually a little more fun to ride than a full streamliner because yeah. with the less aerodynamics, we have lower gearing to overcome the uh, extra drag. So it's actually easier around town taking off in first gear, and I just don't clutch as much. And so it's actually a more fun bike to ride, in sense, and so especially around town. Okay. Coast what, to coast, the full streamlining is the way to go. What year is it? This one's an 07. All right. Similar design is my 05 that I can with. And uh, how many miles on it? Uh, several 5,000 miles, actually. How many? 5,000. It just oh, rolled over. It's brand new. Yeah. All right. And so, uh... It's a $300 motorcycle. In perfect shape when I got it. Yeah. So, anyway, it's easier to build small parts and pieces on the bike. Uh, the closed front wheel, you know, you can actually build it and then put it on. You know, you don't have to build a whole body. You can do it in pieces. Uh, same thing with the uh, blisters to keep the legs tucked in and the feet. Same thing, you can do that on, as a separate project. Uh, so you, taller width. Oh, go ahead. You built this? I mean, yeah, you formed I, all, that? All the pieces I made. All right. And including the trunk. So what about the windshield? The windshield is uh, it's not it's not developed properly. I just extended another piece of uh, ninja, uh, windshield. Technically, she come back to about here because it's not pulling the air right or on the rider. It's the weak. That's the weak link on the on the on the bike right now. It's not properly developed because it was done. It was finished less than a week before I left. All right. And this is the same trunk that you... 90, 90, yeah. This is the same trunk that you had back in 2011? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That was just for simplicity. Just just threw it on there. And it's, it's still a great trunk for going across the country. It carries all the stuff I need. Anything else about the bike? Uh, it's less susceptible to crosswinds, I think, uh, than a full streamliner. And also put some of my energies towards uh, bike uh, stability and crosswinds. Uh, they are a little, the combination of lightweight and uh, flat sides is, uh, is not good for crosswinds. So anyway, I'm working on uh, building a... Uh, and yeah, so mirror. Yeah. So anyway, uh, if you want to make the site more rounded, you let the air flow around, and we find out later this not as bad for crosswinds. Great for straightaway, but lousy on, on uh, crosswinds. So it's better to have one big this radius. Okay. So that's the things I've been finding out, and like to like to let people know if they want to get into that. So I like to work more towards safety. And still compete, but my emphasis is to, is making them safer. Thank you very much.